Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with uh, Kaon season 2 episode number 7 reaction. So the previous episode, um, it was an episode where we get to see Yui's ample love for her Gita <laughs> and uh, how it was raining. She was using her own self to protect her Gita from any harm, any danger. And uh, <laughs> that was the episode and that was basically the previous episode like all the throughout the episode we see how she like you know went against rain to so that you know like her Gita doesn't get wet later on comes up with uh, like you know from after getting Azusa's input she decides to like uh, wrap it up with like a vanilla like you know like plastic bag and uh, yeah like you know stuff like that and uh, and also like you know like she had to actually leave Gita overnight uh, Mio also kept her base over there as well uh, in school so that it doesn't like you know like get wet uh, bringing back and forth and she was like very sad she was like oh Gita is all alone and uh, yeah um, <laughs> we, we saw like you know stuff like that and uh, there was that also that little scene where uh, <laughs> Yui like names Mio's base as Elizabeth that was kind of funny because you know it's a base and that's why Elizabeth and later on, Mio also kind of called it by that name, Elizabeth, because, you know, it's a very good name. If you think about it, like that little pun and everything alongside, it's a very nice name. And like, kind of Elizabeth is a very nice name. So I feel like Mio accepted it by the end of it. <laughs> and when she was calling it Elizabeth, everyone's like outside watching, <laughs> at which Mio gets embarrassed. Yeah, it was a fun episode. So let's, have, uh, let's see what happens in this one. This is episode number seven. Let us begin. I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Sync it to whichever is a preference. And let's get started. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. No, no talk. What should is this a library? What is this? No, it's, I don't think this what? What the hell is that? So cub. Isn't that Mio on? What, what's going on? At first, I thought that was like a credit card or something, but no, it has Mio's face on it. So, all right. Hmm. Hmm. What's happening? Yeah. Someone's watching. Yeah. <laughs> no, not. The not them. Okay, someone's really there. Who is it? Oh my god, it's Sawat. Great. Why? <laughs> was it actually her who was... I don't know. Whose presence she felt? Oh no, probably not. 
Yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What are you on about? In inside the school? I don't think so. Yeah, Detective Conan. Okay. <laughs> like I said, Detective Conan. What? How? Damn! Detective Mugi. What? Oh, was it her? She... What the... <laughs> yeah, but... Oh... I see. Oh my god, there actually were people outside. Oh, that's a fan club card. <laughs> I love how she took the cake away so that. <laughs> because they're fans. That's why they're going to. Wow. Oh, <laughs> she knew it. Mm. Oh, that's the name Sokabe Senpai. The person has, she was talking about. Mm. March before her graduation. Wow. Okay. Oh, so Nodoka got involved in it? Oh, that was a lie? Wow. <laughs> ah, I see. Hmm. <laughs> <He's> crying. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, is this Sokabe Senpai? Ah, she was the president of the fan club as well. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you're the one who's doing it, so okay. <laughs> wow, she actually brought it up herself. Mm. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, she did say that, mentioned that. Wow. Up. Ah! Yo. Membership card number one. 
She caught that so quickly. <laughs> yes, it's you. <laughs> no, that's not how it's going. What the? Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Great. Oh boy. <laughs> yep, number one. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, what did they do? A little concert? Probably a, a private concert or something? <laughs> Revenge? <laughs> yes, there you go. Mm hmm. Mm. That was nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mutant. <laughs> Mutant. <laughs> she did. <laughs> she actually did. <laughs> Wait, who? Oh, she gave it to her. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, so they engraved her name on it? Nodaka's name? Oh my god. <laughs> and that's why she said like... Uh, that's why she said like, I I'll talk to the fan club members because she's a president. <laughs> well, yeah. Skip a cake cutting. They're having so much fun with this. Q&A session. No. Social anxiety, Neos. Okay, this became an actual big deal. This actually became a big deal, a very big deal. I wonder if he's, she's going to come, Sukati Senpai. Like, even though she graduated, maybe she, she can come, you know? <laughs> wow. What the hell is that picture? That's, a, that's one of the worst pictures I've ever seen. Why is it like that? It backs. <laughs> that why? What is that picture? Oh my god! <laughs> I feel like she's actually thinking of that. Okay. Oh.
<laughs> yeah, probably. You can't make it. Ah. Hmm. Mm, yeah. Yeah, and she doesn't want to inconvenience the other, other, other club members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, it's <Ritsu. laughs> Yeah. Oh, MC. Hmm. First ever, so there'll be a second one? I don't know. Oh, wow! <laughs> yeah, Mio's maid dress. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is she wearing like a costume or something? Oh no. <laughs> I was wondering like. Okay, there you go. <laughs> But okay. <laughs> oh my, what the, that's a, okay. What is, <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess they need that big of a cake because so many, so many people. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> this actually becomes such a big deal. 100! <laughs> wow! Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. What? Okay, no. There's more of it. <laughs> yeah, what? Yo, this... <laughs> Okay, this is too much. What's happening here? Like a slideshow about her life? Okay. Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh my god. 
Hmm. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Yeah, this is a nice shot. <clears throat> A little music? Oh. She wants to do something. Okay. A song? Oh, poem. Hmm. What the? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. <laughs> what? Your poem? I feel like if it was made into a song, it would sound better. As a poem, it sounds weird. As a song, it would sound actually nice. Oh, this is a new song. What was the name of the song I forgot? Um, pure Heart or something? Pure Pure? I've heard most of the Kevin songs. However, this one I've never heard. This is the first time I'm hearing this. Pure pure heart. <laughs> like a like a school photograph. Oh, no, sorry, class photograph. Mm. Maybe I'll snap a picture and uh, send it to her. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, you figure it out. Oh, there she is. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh, that was very nice. Oh, that's it. All right, another one of my favorite episodes, I have to say, if I have to pick a few episodes from this season. This season has barely started, but still, I'll, I'll pick this one as well. This one's a very good one.
Mm, okay, that's it. So, uh, this episode, it was an episode about Mio fan club. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like how they did a little uh, part, uh, you know, a little event for them. It was, it was very nice. Uh, like I said, another one of my favorite episodes. Um, so, uh, interesting, I, I, I was kind of like, you know, like very surprised to see like a song that I've actually not heard. Like I said, I think I, I, I told this before as well, <clears throat> when I started uh, reacting to K-On, that <clears throat> K-On was a show that I haven't watched, but I knew about and I've heard most of the songs because when I was a kid, I used to go to my grandparents' house where the television channel, the anime television channel used to come. And uh, I remember like listening to K-On and songs over there, the opening and the endings. And uh, so all the anime as well, but I don't remember anything. It was very long ago and uh, I, I barely understood anything that was going on. So yeah, I just, I really loved the opening and the endings. And I used to just, you know, like listen to the opening and ending, record it with my phone and heard it multiple amounts of time. And then after like, you know, like the internet came into existence, like, you know, to the normal household. Um, yeah, one of the first thing that I did was I uh, searched more k on songs on YouTube and I've heard like most of the songs like you know like uh, like Fua Fua Time uh, what else um, that one what's, what's it called uh, the Fuda, Fuda Pen Ball Pen or something like that I forgot the name proper name you know all these songs and a few other songs as well I've heard a lot of the other songs I've heard and I used to hear it a lot listen to it a lot so you know, like, I, at, and according to my knowledge, most of the songs that Keon have, I should have heard it. Except this one. This one, I don't think I've ever heard, about, uh, heard it before. Never, like, you know, like, maybe I listened to it once or twice, probably, but I don't really remember it. So, I probably haven't heard this one. So, this one's a new one. That's, you know, like, that's very nice. Like, and I'm going to check it out again in the, like, you know, like, on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah that like this episode was very good okay so let's talk about this episode in the beginning we get to see <coughs> Nozoka finding the membership card of the uh, Mio fan club and uh, she was like talking about like you know, thinking about Sokabe Sokabe senpai and uh, you know like because she was the uh, fan club president before she was thinking about her now later on we get to see in while going to her classroom Mio's kind of freaking out because uh, she seems like she sees that thinks like someone's keeping an eye on her and she's like oh I'm getting a weird feeling and uh, they were like talking to Mio about it and then suddenly <laughs> Sawachan sensei comes in and just <laughs> you know kind of does that whole like oh guess who it is you know that thing and shocks Mio so yeah, obviously it was not her, it was someone else, but Sawachan sensei is like, yeah, it wasn't me, but if, because if, if it was me, I wouldn't just keep an eye on her, I'll actually do something to her. <laughs> so it wasn't me. Now, so the question begins, like, the question comes out, out then who was it? <laughs> I love Yui's explanation. He was like, you know who it is? It's Tonchan. Tonchan, you know, like, Mio doesn't really interact with Tonchan, so Tonchan got mad and stuck to her all day. <laughs> and me was like, don't make scary stories up like that. So, and Mugi like is like, oh, the mystery is clear now. You know, like I know who the criminal is. The criminal is there. Shows the um, door, and obviously, like she's like, oh, I wanted to just do this. But I'm guessing this is like a detective Conan reference, like uh, you know, like when like you know Conan's catchphrase. So whenever he finds out who the criminal is. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I wanted to do this. And you know what the funny part is? She actually was correct because there were actually pe people outside the door keeping in, <laughs> looking in, peeking in. Uh, but anyways, um, Mugi's like, but you know what? I do have an answer for you. Now, you ate yakisoba pan today, didn't you? And Mugi's like, yeah. Like, you know, how do you know? And she's like, you got 20% off, didn't you, on that? And she's like, yes. And she's like, here you go. Like, you know, brings out the, uh, the tag that was stuck to her hair. And she's like, here it is. And uh, so the mystery is solved. Like, you know, the, 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 the uh, what, what's that called? Uh, the, imagine, the, the person who was probably, it wasn't like a singular person, but everyone was like, you know, keeping eye on her because of that thing. People were kind of distracted looking at her. 
and like you know like because that uh, tag was stuck to her hair so that's probably what she was feeling and also those two people outside you know those two fan club members they were also probably keeping an eye on her so that was the whole thing and uh, <laughs> and i love how uh, you know like he was like, oh no, like, you know, this is the reason why everyone probably was keeping a watch on me. And, uh, <laughs> and then we see Nodoka comes in and uh, those two outside the door, they also fall down almost. And they're like, oh, like, you know, like we knew about it, but we kept quiet because that was cute. <laughs> Yui was also like, oh yeah, I also know about it. I, I, I thought that you guys put it on purpose. So basically most of the people knew about that and they just kept quiet. <laughs> but yeah, Mew was like, if you knew about it, please tell me from the next time. But either way, uh, so Nodoka is like, I'm sorry for this, you know, like the uh, fan club members are also kind of like, you know, just kind of get, getting a little bit too far now. So I'll, I'll talk to them. <clears throat> and she talks about Sokabe Senpai, who graduated. So obviously Azusa didn't know what is the, what they're talking about because Azusa, you know, like it's a, it's, it's a second year now. Yeah, second year. Second year now. So, you know, like, this all happened when they were, when Yui were in the first year, I'm guessing. Yui and her group. So, Azusa's like, what, what are you talking about? And she's like, alright, let me tell you a story. So, so they start the little uh, recollection of Sokabe Senpai. And Ritsu says how, <laughs> Ritsu was embellishing the whole story at the beginning. She was like, oh, I saw Mio, like, you know, getting very anxious about it. So I was like, don't worry, Mio. Let's go to the student council. And Mio's like, stop lying, you guys didn't believe me. And then she was like, I myself went to the student council. And she says how she like, you know, went to Nodoka and asked for help. And Nodoka, uh, she was like crying and everything. And she, <laughs> Mio's like, thank God you believed me. <laughs> My club members don't listen to me. <laughs> but anyway, so Kabe Senpai comes in and <clears throat> she's like, uh, she was like, oh, she introduces herself, she was a former president, and uh, yeah, so what happens is that she's like, okay, so she's like, talks about the whole stalker problem, and she's like, oh yeah, it is a big problem, isn't it, you know, like, I can understand your, your trouble, and I want to be of help, so she like, sits Mio down, and she's like, alright, here's some tea, uh, this tea is not as good as your club, but it's, it's still nice. Mistake number one, that is, because she commented on how the like, you know, tea is better, not as good as in the uh, Keon club. So immediately, you know, like, <laughs> Mio's like, alright, so you know quite a bit about the Keon club, don't you? We talked about the tea as well. <laughs> so Kame Senpai, whole face goes blank. She's like, oh no, I messed up. You know, what should I do? And Nodoka's like, um... And she's like, oh, I, I told, I, like, you know, like, Nodoka told me. And Nodoka's like, I never told you. She's like, oh, then I wonder who, who told me about it. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, uh, you know, Keon Club is very famous for a lot of the time. And so, yeah, like, probably because of that, I got to know about it. Ha, ha. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just going to take my leave. She tries to go. The membership card falls down. <laughs> Nodoka looks at it and Nodoka's like, what is this? Mio Fan Club membership card? And yep, the whole like, you know, like thing is coming out, like Sokabe is very like, you know, like, what can I say, like awkward, like, you know, weirded out, she doesn't know what to say in this situation, very puzzled. So Mio's like, alright, this is a weird situation, so let me just make a like, very casual joke about this. Uh, she would be like, oh, so the culprit was you, president, ha ha ha, and the president would also ha ha ha, no, the guy was all, will also laugh, and everything will be water under the bridge, she thought. Um, so she, she's like, so yeah, you, you were the stalker, weren't you, president? And she's like, yes, I was the one. And Mio's like, wait, what? <laughs> and she's like, I'm sorry, I couldn't contain myself. I'm going to be graduating this year, so I just wanted a little bit, like, you know, more time. And I wanted to spend more time with Mio, and that's why I just kept an eye on her. So, <clears throat> here Nodoka's like, wait a minute, this is number like you know like card number one um oh no sorry uh, Mio's like oh okay don't worry you know like uh, like i'm happy that you like me so much <laughs> no the guy's like wait a minute this is card number one are you the president and she's like yeah i'm the president of the club <laughs> Mio's like what the hell 
<laughs> oh god, this part was so funny. And uh, yeah, so that is how they got to know about Sokabe Senpai and the fan club. So the fan club has been like, you know, like been going on from that point onwards. So to give like, you know, like show them a little bit, like, you know, give Sokabe Senpai something to remember her by. She and the club members, Keon Club, they decide to do a little performance for her. And uh, yeah, they, they sing a song. Uh, wait, I think they sung four four times. Yeah, four four times. They sing four four times. And uh, yeah, so Kame Senpai was just looking mesmerized like this, you know, just completely on a different world. <laughs> and even when the whole, um, you know, like, uh, s the performance was, has ended, she was just there mesmerized standing. Nodoka's like, Senpai, it has ended, it's over. <laughs> and in the end, she's like, please give me an autograph, please write Miyotan on it, Miyotan. And the club, you know, like Azusa's like, so wait, did you actually write in your tongue? And he was like, yes, I had to do it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway, so later we get to see that obviously Nodoka talks about it. And Nodoka's like, yeah, after that, so Sokabe Senpai gave me the card, the membership number one card, and told me to take the presidentship of the fan club as well. So now, just like Sokabe Senpai was the student council president and the fan, fan club president, she is in a similar situation where she's also the student council president. Yeah, no, because it's student council president, isn't she? Or, or wait, no. Oh no, I'm, for, I'm forgetting about it. Oh no, 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 not the student council president. Oh, I'm, I'm forgetting. I'm not really sure. Um, I cannot really actually remember. But it is like she is in the student council, that is for sure. But I'm, I can't really remember if she's the president. She's pro no, she's not the president. Okay, never mind. I don't think no, is the president. Or is she? Ah. Everything's getting mixed up in my head, but anyways, um, but yeah, like she is in the student council, and at, also at the same time, she's also a student, uh, the president of the fan club, and that is why you know, like she has the card with her, and uh, and I'm, I guess that is why she was saying like, oh, I'll talk to the fan club members because she's the president of the club, so I guess she can talk to them and you know tell them not to go too far <laughs> with this whole stalking thing. <laughs> oh, but anyways, um. So they're like, we should do something. And Nodoka's like, yeah, like, you know, like, you know what? Like, it's been a while. So I feel like we should actually kind of do a little tea party or something like that for them. Like, just, just interact with them. And if Mio is there, Mio can help us out. You know, that would be quite nice for the fan club members as well. And uh, at first, Mio was kind of hesitating because, you know, her social anxiety is just going to, like, shoot through the roof in this type of situation. However, <laughs> all the club members, they're like, don't worry. We can do it. You know, like... Like, Mio will, like, you know, do it, like, you know, like, every, everything will be fine, we'll help out, and, like, you know, everyone just was, was, like, at first, Ritsu's, like, yeah, don't worry, you is, like, yeah, don't worry, Mugi was also, like, yeah, don't worry, like, you know, what type of tea party do you want, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, so, they're, like, all talking about what they should do, how Mio should come in, what event they should do, what little, like, you know, like, stuff they, they're going to do in the event, all that stuff they're talking about, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's started to become a very big deal. And Nodoka's like, don't worry, I'll talk about, take care of all the other intricate things. So yeah, we are off to make some, like another little event. So we have a lot of Mio merch. I don't know why the hell they made, put that like, you know, picture on, the, on every merch. That's a very bad picture. Why is it that picture? Couldn't they use a cuter picture? Like what the hell is that picture? I don't know, or maybe that's what, you know, like, everyone likes. I'm guessing everyone was happy with that, because it is like that. Yeah, I guess. But anyways, um, <laughs> they have, like, everything, like, Mio pencil, Mio eraser, Mio chopsticks, Mio handkerchief, Mio chocolate. Like, good God. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, and after that, you see, like, you know, the fan club members come in and give them some refreshments, and they're very happy and when Mio was like, oh, thank you, you guys, for giving these to us. And they're very happy because, you know, Mio, like, you know, talked to them. And, yeah, so they're like, all right, let's do something good. So, Nodoka's like, Sokabe Senpai's wish was to make the fan club thrive. So, they're like, so Sokabe Senpai is coming. And she's like, no, I tried to contact her, but she, like, you know, like, when contacted back, she was like, I don't have, you know, like, enough time to go there because I'm involved with my circle. I have something to do that day, so you guys go ahead and do it. 
and uh, you know like they were like thinking the fan club uh, sorry uh, Yui and everyone else were like so what should we do should we like really postpone this but Notoka was like no she like not so uh, she wanted uh, Sokabe Senpai wanted the club to thrive and uh, to you know like just because of her to postpone the date she probably doesn't want that she doesn't want to inconvenience everyone else so she said to go ahead and do it and uh, here like you know like they kind of talk about whether Sokabe Senpai got you know like as, as she is like a college student now maybe she got over this got over the whole Mio fangirl stage uh, and uh, Mio was also thinking like oh like and I wonder how I will be if I like you know, after I grow up grow up will I be like her you know like composed calm and uh, yeah so okay now the day of the event and we have a big welcome board you know with Mio's picture everywhere on the board <laughs> and yeah so they introduced the whole event you know, with Mio and uh, I'm sorry not Mio Ritsu and Yui they introduce everyone they're like welcome everyone like you know this is the event the first event the first tea party of like you know like by Mio and uh, yes yeah, so they're just like you know like introducing everything everyone's happy that Mio's going to come so they're like so our guest of honor Mio come inside and Mio comes in <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was wondering was she there wearing like a costume and, and nah she wasn't she definitely wouldn't in, in this like you know like crowd she definitely would, wouldn't wear a, a costume and Sachin says it's like Oh, like, you know, like, a costume would have been a lot better. <laughs> it's just like, don't worry. We are going to do a wardrobe change. Mio's like, no, we are not going to do that. Anyways, uh, Mio comes in, tries to introduce herself, just completely fumbles, like, you know, like, just, like, you know, like, oh. <laughs> stutters. <laughs> Isn't able to properly, like, you know, um, say. And uh, again tries, again fumbles, and everyone's like, Oh, how cute, how, how adorable, like everyone's just having such a great time with it. And uh, yeah, and then comes in the cake. And it's a freaking big cake. I'm like, what the hell is this? This is like a wedding cake. <laughs> Mio's like, what is this? And it doesn't make sense, you know, a that big of a cake because there's quite a few people, you know. Uh, so I guess they needed that big of a cake. Anyways, it's a big one. <laughs> I love how they're like, all right, so Azusa is going to help uh, like, you know, Mio out to cut the cake. So they're like doing the whole wedding cake, like, you know, like cutting thing <laughs> with, the, with the big knife. I just love how Mugi is there, you know, like in the sidelines, just clapping, you know, this is Mugi we're talking about. These type of, like, you know, developments, she loves those. She just loves these type of developments. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyways, uh, after that, uh, they like, you know, give all the, like, you know, the cake to everyone and they're like, all right, so Mio is going to light the candles. And there's like a lot of candles. She lights every candle one after the other. And she's like, what's happening? Why is this like such a big thing? <laughs> so yeah, everything's going pretty well. So the, the next part of the event is 100 questions. So the questioning starts, you know, like... <laughs> Risu is like every time you answer a question will blow out one candle and she's like all right first question what is the scariest story you have heard Risu, uh, Mio, you is like second question what is the second scariest story you have heard third question what is the third scariest story and Mio's just freaking out and Mio's like just stop this and I can't be I, I can't be dealing with this <laughs> oh my god but anyways then the actual questioning starts everyone starts asking her a lot of weird questions like 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 the first question was so weird where do you wash first in the bath what the <laughs> she says the shower head <laughs> as says like she starts by cleaning the bathroom <laughs> and then they're like what do you eat thai uh, yaki from from the head or from the bottom and she's like the middle tail She's freaking out so much. She's like asking, like, you know, giving like weird answers. But anyways, yeah, it's over. Mio's completely burnt out. But it's not over yet, you know. Next part is a little slideshow to show how Mio has grown up for her 17 years of her life. I think this is 17 or something. Wait a minute, just a minute. Let me check. 
Let's take a journey through a first half of our life using a slight show to see. 17, yeah, there you go, 17. So, <laughs> he was like 17 years old and I've always you know, already get, like, you know, gone through half of my life. <laughs> what are they talking about? But anyways, uh, we see the little slight show like, you know, like with Mio and uh, Ritsu, you know, little, as little kids. And uh, I was just like, why is Ritsu in all of the pictures? And he's just like, oh, because it was, it's my album. That's why <laughs> I have, I, I am in, I'm in all of them. But anyways, Mio sees the pictures and sees how they were like having fun, you know, like from a, like another small age to like, you know, like now the present with the Keong Club and everything. And in the end, she was very happy. She felt nostalgic. And she felt very, very, like, you know, like, grateful. Either way, uh, they're going to end the whole thing and they're going to, like, you know, like, start a little song. But Mio's like, stop. I have something to give you guys, you guys back. Because she was thinking about, she was thinking about how to repay everyone. And she's like, I have a little poem for you. Now, I'm going to be reading this poem because the poem was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me read it. Where, where is that poem? Exciting sugar. For my dear caramel sauce, granulated and brown sugar, maple syrup, honey, wasam bone. For my dear caramel sauce, for my heart to caramel sauce, even if it burns a bit, uh, even if it gets a bit, little bit burnt, your heart will turn it yummy. All right, that's that's a yeah, that's such a weird poem. It, it, <laughs> no rhyming, nothing. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Like I said, I feel like this, if this was like in a song form, this would have been so much better because I feel like 4 4 time is also kind of like this. You know, the lyrics, kind of. And uh, like Fude Pen Ball Pen is also like this. The, 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 the lyrics are kind of like this. But because it, it makes sense because Mio is the one, I think, who most of the time li writes the lyrics. That is why all those songs which have these type of like, you know, like weird analogies, you know, it's, it's made by Mio. So yeah, like as far as I can remember, Fude, Fude Pen Ball Pen was also... Uh, Fudep and Ballpen was also written by Mio, as far as I can remember, or might be, I might be wrong. But, you know, like, those, in song format, those sounds very nice, and it, it's very, like, you know, like, very good songs. In poem format, these don't work. You know, like, oh my god, this, this was such a weird poem. But I feel like if this was made into a song, it would be so much better. Either way, um, <laughs> it was like, they, like, it's, you know what the funny part is? Up until now, like when Mio was kind of just like you know making mistakes and kind of like you know just like stammering and everything, they were like, oh, what, what, ador like you know, this is so cute, this is so adorable, this is what makes it good, you know. Here, when she read the poem, it shocked everyone so much that they weren't even able to say something like, oh, this is so cute, this is so adorable, this is what makes it better. They were so shocked. Everyone, everyone was like just, just silent. They didn't know how to react to this. And Mio's like, what's going on? Have I did something wrong? <laughs> this is like, even her fans couldn't keep up with Mio's extremeness. And so they're like, all right, you know what? Let's go to the rescue. They go and they're like, all right, you know, enough, enough of the poem. Let's start like, you know, like a song. And they take Mio out. So they're like, uh, we'll be singing Pure Pure Heart. And uh, yeah, the song starts. And like I said, I actually don't remember this song. Even if I've heard it, I've probably forgotten or I've not heard it at all, which is kind of rare because like I said, I've heard a lot of the, like most of the K-On songs I've heard, you know, so many times on the internet. So the fact that there was one song that I actually didn't know is kind of a surprise, but I'm happy about it because I'm going to listen to it from here onwards. <laughs> but either way, this is a very nice song. I really liked it. And uh, yeah, they, they did the song. And uh, yeah, in the end, after the song ended, you know, like, Mio did a little group photograph. <laughs> like, you know, that, that was very funny. Like, you know, she has a very sizable, like, an amount of fans. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me just count. 1, 2, 3, 6, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. And with Nodoka, I guess, 21. And uh, yeah, like 20, like something like that. And if you in include the senpai, I forgot her name. So Kabe senpai, yeah, 22. 22 to 23, almost 25 fans she has. That's nice. And uh, maybe there's a few people who probably are Mio's fans, but they're not part of the fan club. They're also there, I'm guessing. <laughs>
But anyways, um, yeah, so Nodoka is like, I'm so like, you know, like sad that Sokabe same kind of wasn't able to come. So Azusa is like, all right, let me take snap a picture and you send it to her. She's like, we don't know the email. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Azusa is like, oh, you, you figure it out. So yeah, after that, they send it to so Sokabe Senpai and Sokabe, we see Sokabe Senpai, you know, like, was like with her friends, I'm guessing, with the club members. And she takes out the phone, looks at it, and she like, you know, smiles. And she's like, ah, oh, like you know, another nice thing I got today. And uh, yeah, so obviously this kind of proves that it's not that Sokabe Senpai grew out of being a Mio fangirl. She still is. It's just that she didn't have, you know, like an opportunity to come today. But, you know, like uh, Nozoka is like, dear Sokabe Senpai, you know, like I hope you're okay. Uh, hopefully next time we have another one of these, you're able to come. So yeah, and that's where it ended. This was a very nice episode, uh, a Mio-centric episode, and uh, yeah, that was very entertaining. I, I really liked it. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is my reaction to episode number uh, 7 of K-On! Season 2. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. And yeah, that is it. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next week with another episode of K-On! Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.